Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Ty back with another video and in today y'all I got another banger for y'all and I posted another bot lot because a couple days ago and I noticed a trend. I post one, I find a better one. I post another one and I find an even better one. Now guys, this is probably the best one that we're probably going to have. This bot lobby glitch is unlimited. You guys don't have to do this over and over and over and over and over again. You guys can do this until you get tired because you can set the time limit. You can set the stats. Not only that is that your the accounts keep spawning right in front of you. So you gotta run across the map. And you guys can pretty much get all your camos. And you guys know it's legit because I just ranked up right there. And I'm basically playing Search and Destroy on in a private match and getting xp for it so you guys know this is legit now before i go any further you guys already know what i'm going to say next you guys need a friend to help you a second console or you guys can add each other in the comment section to see if you guys you know can make it easier for y'all now i don't know if this works only on playstation i all i know is you need to have at least one person on playstation help you with this that's all i know is you need at least have one person with a playstation but enough of me talking let's go ahead and get into this bank so guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to pretty much make this glitch unlimited so you guys don't have to waste time going in and out of matches. This is what you guys need to do. So I want you guys to go over to custom games, okay? Go to change game mode, and you guys want to click search and destroy, okay? Now you want to go to settings, you want to pretty much copy the settings that I'm putting, because this right here will make it the best for you. Now pretty much all I'm doing is search and destroy, allows it to have it to where the, your, um, the enemy spawns in front of you, so you can just keep killing them over and over and over again, and getting your double kills, getting your headshots, killing everything need just copy my settings just pause copy them you guys can turn the health down to 30 turn the minimap on and you guys can turn the score multiply up to five so you can guys can utilize as much xp as possible i don't know if that actually saves it but you know just pretty much make your settings to how you want it i recommend you guys copy them on because i do have the best settings in my opinion you know just just do what i do and you pretty much have success now i know the glitches i'm going to say this now the glitch is kind of hard and it's really really inconsistent so you might have some errors with that but at this point all you guys want to do is save it you know save it to any name you guys want to you know it doesn't matter what name it is it's just, as long as you save it you'll be good now we're gonna now guys like i told you guys before you guys need to have at least one person on playstation the person that's helping you needs to be on playstation in order for this to work i'm just letting you guys know one player has to be on playstation now I want, what i want you guys to do is i want you guys to head over to versus boss and you want to tell your friend to send you an invite now this is not the same glitch it's a different one now once you guys accept that invite if you're on pc you guys got to bring up the social screen but if you're on console you guys need to bring up the settings screen like i'm gonna show you guys in a second on I have the settings screen, so I'm gonna bring this up. Now, when you guys bring this screen up right here, all you wanna do is have your friend back out once. And if your screen is gonna go back to this, you wanna hit settings again or social if you're on PC. And then you wanna tell your friend to go on the zombies. Now, when your screen gets back to this, you wanna tell your friend to back out. Okay, he has to back out for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and back out. And as soon as he back out, tell him to rejoin you. Now, this part right here doesn't involve timing, but sooner or later, the timing will kick in. So once your friend rejoins you, you know, it's going to give some time. What you guys want to do is you guys want to click free for all. And if you want to change the map, you can. I changed the map to Sanatorium strictly because, you know, I, I, I'm just doing it how I normally used to do it. But, you know, it's really up to you on how you want to do it. And um, once you guys do that, all you guys want to do is start the match. You know, you just wait on the screen. Now, I want, I want to take the time to tell you guys some things that may happen. If you're If you join a game and your friend is like on a screen for like on that loading screen for about five seconds you're gonna have to clo uh, close your app and restart because sometimes there are some connection issues with this glitch i've noticed that sometimes you know the glitch doesn't always work 100 percent of the time so you'll know when the glitches work i'm going to show you guys an indicator to how you know the glitch is going to work 100 percent of the time well it's never going to work 100 percent of the time because sometimes this glitch can get very very tedious and it can be very very annoying now once you guys both load into the game, I'll need both of you guys to go ahead and select the class. Now, you guys both have to load into the game and select the class. So, you guys see on the right side of my screen, my friend's screen, pretty much is like he's not even in the game. Now, I'm recording this video on my, my cousin's account because, you know, I was helping him out. But once you guys both load in and click uh, get a class, you want to end the game. Now, it doesn't matter how fast you do it, just as long as you end the game before, you know, the score limit, you'll pretty much be fine. But as long as you end the game, that's all that matters. Now, when you guys get back to the screen, you want to wait till you both fully load back to the screen. Now, on the right side of my screen, it is not fully loaded because PS4 is so slow, which I don't know why. But I'm doing this glitch on a PS4 and a PS5. Left side is PS5, 
right size ps4 as you guys can already tell now once you get to this screen right here you want to back out and bring party and then you want to back out by yourself so you want to tell you so you want to leave alone now if you guys notice on the right side of my screen my friend has a zombies playlist on my second account has a zombies playlist and on the left side of my screen it's a normal playlist that's how you know the guys that's how you know the glitch is working okay we have the zombie plays and multiplayer now you guys got to go over custom games you, like you guys need to your front is on the screen you want to hover over change mode you want to hit circle and you want to hover over leave lobby for like two seconds and then you want to spam x over and over and over again now you know this part right here worked when you spam x over and over again and it brings you to this screen right here you have to be quick with this okay guys now once you guys get to the screen you want to hover over the s d game mode that you made okay now at this point you want to tell your friend to invite you to the game okay tell your friend to invite you and you want to hit triangle and x to accept it if you're on you're gonna need a, a controller for that part regardless so just let you guys know now when you guys get here you want to tell your friends to go to onslaught nuketown because nuketown is the best one so tell them to go to onslaught nuketown now this next part requires timing you guys have to be fast because you could mess up okay now when you when you're when both of you guys load in and you see the map like you'll see in a second it's gonna see the map right here you want to tell your friends to back out quick you want to join you want your friend to join you back super quick because if you don't join back quick, it'll say send party invite and somebody can take your spot and then you have to take, do the glitch all over again. You have to be quick with this part right here. All right. Now, when your friend flee loads in, when your friend tells you that he's in just like this, you want to select the SND game mode and then you want to hit triangle and bring up the social screen. You want to go over to manage party and leave party. Now, when you guys do that, you will see that you're pretty much both of you guys are split up and on the right side of my screen start search and destroy and on the left side of my screen says onslaught now guys once you get that part all you guys gotta do is both load in and that's pretty much the glitch you guys got the glitch pretty much right you know uh, it's gonna be a public match you guys it's just gonna be you two nobody else can join now this glitch you can only do with two players like the other glitch you can do with four but this one you can only do with two simply because onslaught is a two-player game mode and it's i think it is a ps uh, playstation exclusive so if you're on xbox or if you're on pc you need to have a person to help you with this glitch i'm pretty sure i don't even know if you can play onslaught on pc or not even i'm not sure even if you have a person who can help you with this glitch who's on console if you can still play it or not all i know is that one person needs to be on uh, on playstation 4 to help you so if you're on ps4 or xbox you know you need somebody, you know, on PlayStation to help you regardless. Now, real quick, I'm going to show you guys that it's legit. I'm going to get a few headshots because I'm wrecking my cousin's guns up for him. And you will see in a second that, you know, I'm going to unlock some camos. I'm going to unlock, uh, you know, weapon XP. You know, I'm going to unlock rank. You know, you all see it right here. And you guys can do this as much as you want. Now, make sure your second controller is moving. But as you guys can see right there, he just unlocked some attachments. And he just leveled up right there. And all of this sticks. Now, I know a lot of you guys said in my last glitch that I posted that the XP and all that wasn't sticking. The only thing I can tell you guys to do is finish the game or back out and play an online game because I don't know why it's not sticking for you guys. For me, it's sticking perfectly fine without any worries or anything like that. So, I'm not 100% sure why it's not sticking for you guys. But if you have any questions, just hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. I'll try to respond to you guys. Instagram is probably the least you know place I, you can get back to me but i recommend hitting me up on twitter because it's the easiest but thank you guys for watching this video i hope you all enjoyed like and subscribe if you're new over to 100k subscribers and if you guys need any help just please let me know i will try my best to help you if you have any questions let me know as well but it's been your boy tie two times or tie two x or daddy t sav or whatever y'all boys and girls want to call me i'll have the camera right there but i'm out y'all boys and girls stay safe